All right, South Georgia Fig family. It's been about a little over two weeks since we brought you guys our easily root fig cuttings. Use this method video. We told you guys during that video we would bring you guys back at the very first size of propagation in our fig tree cuttings. And if you guys did have the opportunity to watch our first video in this series, you guys recall that we took about 28, I think, total fig tree cuttings from the various varieties of fig trees you see with those blue labels on them going around our um, perimeter of our greenhouse. Again, it's been a little over two weeks since we begun the propagation experiment on those different varieties of fig cuttings. And in this morning's video, I'm going to bring you guys onto our propagation table and show you guys what it, exactly it is that we have currently going on with these uh, 20 uh, more cuttings that we have here in these three containers. Now, before I raise this camera up, I want to uh, let you guys know that we have been coming out here every three, four days at the most and doing a water extraction in our containers. We've been refilling our containers back up to this previous mark with the same amount of water. We have the same fig tree cuttings in the same containers. All of our fig tree cuttings are labeled with the um, variety that they currently that, that, they, that they are. I'm going to raise this camera up right now for, uh, for you guys and gals currently watching this video and show you guys exactly what it is that we have going on in the way of propagation with our roughly 20 or so, or so, or so fig tree cuttings here. Take a look at this. Bam! Can you guys see all of the buds on these fig tree cuttings that have turned green and begun to pop open for us here in these containers? Now some of these varieties, um, of course, come out of dormancy a little faster than others. Some of them take longer to propagate than others. So we don't have the same results on in all three of our containers as we have here in this first container here, but these are Taro fig tree cuttings here in this first container and also CDD Mutante fig tree cuttings. And virtually every cutting in this first container has not only popped open buds and begin to uh, sprout out leaves, <laughs> But these cuttings, you, if you guys can see this, I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick it up. I'm going to try to give you an angle in which the camera can see these little white bumps. You see those white bumps along the um, tips of our fig tree cuttings down there? Those little white bumps are the formation of roots on all of our cuttings. Now these cuttings although some of them are indeed propagating, uh, beginning to show signs of propagation faster than others, these fig tree cuttings are all propagating at a slower rate than they typically do for us here in our high tunnel greenhouse at this time of year. Going on to this second container, you can see that although we don't have very many buds that have turned green and popped open, we have a tremendous amount of those little white bumps and my cameras are not doing any justice in picking up what I'm trying to show you guys in this container but there we go you guys see all of those little white bumps down in the bottom of that container down there along the base of those stems all of those are the beginning of the formation of roots here for us in our high tunnel greenhouse and the second container contains White Texas, Basilica Sika, and Sumaki fig tree cuttings. This last container, let's see if I can get it tipped to the side where you guys can see the little formation of roots on these cuttings as well. It's hard for me to get my camera angled at a, in a direction where you guys can see those bumps down there but there's a tremendous amount of roots on these cuttings in this third container as well the fig tree cuttings in this third container are mostly celeste if i'm not mistaken and angelica green and we do have a few buds also turning green on a few of these cuttings and beginning to sprout open for us so we're super excited to see the results of about 17 or 18 days of propagation with our 
big tree cutting sitting in about an inch of water here on our propagation table in our high tunnel greenhouse. Before we let you guys go, I'm gonna walk you guys around for some of our other big tree cuttings that were in dormancy prior to us getting our greenhouse erected and getting them out of the cold weather out there. And they too have begun to come out of dormancy. You guys see that? We keep our greenhouse between 65 and about 72 degrees at virtually all times here. And our fig trees are loving it. And proof is in the pudding that they're loving it. You see these fig tree cutting, these fig trees begun to sprout out the way that they are here in our high tunnel greenhouse. Not only is this particular fig tree popping open its buds there, this thing is also loading up with figs. Can you guys see that? This fig tree is loading up with figs as it comes out of dormancy here. If I can get my camera to focus on that in our high tunnel greenhouse. And we're super excited about that as the rain begins to fall here in our area. There are figs all over this particular tree here. This is a blue celeste fig tree for those of you who may be wondering. This is an angelical green fig tree back here in this back and it too is loving the temperature and low humidity that we keep here in our greenhouse during the fall and winter months. Our largest and oldest fig tree in this container, a brown celeste fig tree, stands at about seven feet tall. This is Mrs. Laurie, for those of you guys who've been following our channel for a while and have been wondering what happened to Miss Laurie. She's here with us also. She's been with us for about four consecutive growth seasons now. And she too is coming out of dormancy in our high tunnel greenhouse. We have a Toro fig tree over here and that thing is popping out figs there at the top. It's not even popping out buds yet. It's just popping out figs everywhere. So we're super excited about that also. But at any rate, South Georgia fig family, at any rate, thanks for watching this video. And if you do indeed find yourself watching this video on around day 18 of our easily root fig tree cuttings use this method grow experiment and you're not already subscribed to south georgia figs please take this moment to press that subscribe button beneath this video the like button the notification button and be sure south georgia fig family be sure be sure be sure to share this video with your friends and family as well thanks for watching